Hello, I'm Priscilla Archangel, and my faith-centered leadership lesson for you today is on forgetfulness and fruitfulness. Have you ever had an experience in life that really just left a negative, negative memory imprinted on your brain almost? Maybe you were treated unfairly, maybe you were bullied, maybe you were abused, maybe someone told lies about you, maybe someone just treated you really, really badly, but it left an imprint on you. And that imprint has been hard to shake. No matter what you do, it seems to keep coming back to mind, and it seems to unfairly and unfortunately shape some of your decisions in life now. Well, let me tell you about a man named Joseph. Joseph was one of 12 brothers. He was the second to the youngest brother. But his brothers became very jealous of him. His brothers told lies about him. His brothers threw him in a pit to die, then they changed their minds and sold him off to a band of strangers who sold him off to another man. And while working for this other man, while Joseph found favor with that man, the man's wife told lies about Joseph, so then he was thrown in prison this time and left to live a miserable existence in a horrible dungeon in just a bad and a nasty place. One day Joseph met some men in the prison and he was able to help those men by interpreting a dream that they had. And he hoped that these men, because they worked for the king at the time, he hoped that these men would remember him and try to get him out of prison. Several years passed with nothing until one day a call came and Joseph was hurried out of the prison. They cleaned him up, they put new clothes on him, they washed him, they shaved him. They made him presentable to walk into the presence of the king. Well, why? What had happened? The king had a dream, and the king needed someone who could interpret his dream, and the king's assistant remembered Joseph. And so Joseph was able to not only interpret the king's dream correctly, but because of the wisdom that Joseph showed in that interpretation, the king set him over the whole kingdom, second only to the king himself. Now, that's a marvelous story of going from literally the dungeon to the throne room in a matter of hours. But Joseph could have thought about his past, and he could have had a bitter taste in his past still about how his brothers treated him and about how others treated him unfairly. Instead, Joseph thanked God for the fruitfulness that he now had. In fact, when Joseph had two sons, he named his first son forgetfulness, or really a name that stood for forgetfulness, which was Manasseh, and the second son he named Ephraim, which stood for fruitfulness. So Joseph did that because he was able to forget his past, to act like it had never happened even. Later on when Joseph came in contact with his brothers again, he treated them as if it never happened. And instead Joseph focused on the fruitfulness that God had given him. So, the question is, stepping beyond your past, the horrible things that may have happened to you, and stepping into your future and into the fruitfulness that God has prepared for you. That's my challenge for you today. Leave the past behind, focus ahead, focus on God's blessings for you, and step into God's time and God's fruitfulness for you. Thanks for listening.